What up guys? So we just got $20,000 from Conquer Accelerator and now we're here working on our app, grinding to make it the best possible experience for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we actually did get $20,000. We're in an accelerator for 10 weeks. Pretty much we just grind every single day. So our last video was, what, four months ago? A lot has happened since then. We got a new logo, completely new editor. Um, we're getting a new website, which is coming next week, I think. We lost like two more competitions. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, but you know well, what? We never, never give up. Keep going. Strive to be your best self. Follow me on Instagram, at David Jurgis. Okay, yeah, cut that out. I actually love this camera, and that's why you're gonna be seeing me the most on it, which I know you don't have a problem with. Like, this camera actually sucks. No, the you focus. just suck at recording, bro. With the focus. Oh my gosh. No, no, like for real, you can't show them the code. Bailey, we just figured out how to become a billion dollar company instead of a million dollar company. Let's see it. We can't say it. Yeah, it's secret. I'm going to have to have you sign like an NDA and a contract and everything. Customer validation. Customer validation. Mm-hmm. Look how much creamer he puts. Disgusting. Listen, bro, it's got to taste good. But right now, me and Dave, we just fig basically figured out that new target market strategy and like the segmenting. So this entire time we've been targeting like Greek life and college kids and kids who want to party. But really our entire market should have been like little 13 year old kids and who watch videos for 10 hours a day. 75% of kids want to become YouTubers, vloggers. They want to become famous. That's raw that's, data you see, on, the, on, the web, on the internet. That's that. You'll find that data on tons of websites, if you don't believe me. So, let's go see what Mike's up to. He's probably coding. Yo, Dave some was cra just telling some me. crazy work just went down in the I know, Dave room. just told me. I don't know the idea but... We're proposing our new target market to Mike. Hopefully it's crazy. But just to let you guys know, Mike is not very accepting when it comes to new marketing strategies. Let's see what he thinks. It's not that I'm not accepting. Yeah, I know. I just, I just like to, give to be you a careful about my decisions, bro. Yeah. I've seen at least 10 things where it's at 70% or 75% or 80% of kids want to become vloggers when they're older. Like making money and just being famous. It's the kid's dream. But that dream is probably harder to sell to a College student is more realistic on life and probably wants a corporate job. Right. Vlogging can be like your occupation almost. Look, I can get a gold scar out of this vending machine. Bro, gold scar? Yeah. How much wood? Time. Okay. So, right now we're going to this Mexican restaurant, company meal. Apparently, it's really expensive. Yeah. Yo, CFO, are we allowed to put this on the company credit card? I'll let the CFO answer that. Yes. Oh, baby, vlog meeting while we're at lunch. Eating good. We got a lot of stuff to discuss. Maybe we will show you guys, maybe we won't. We'll see what happens. For now, let us eat. If you told a kid right now, start vlogging. He wouldn't go, first of all, he wouldn't go out and buy a camera. Like, he's not gonna go tell him, Mom, Mom, go out and take me, buy me a camera. And then he's not gonna go and buy an editor online. He might use iMovie. Yeah, and then he's gonna go learn how to do it after that, which is also a process. But we can just sell them, listen, kids, you hop on our app. Already 75% of the kids wanna be vloggers. How easy of that is a sell? Kids, right now, they're saying they wanna vlog. But when they realize they're gonna have to get an editor and a camera and all this stuff and take hours out of their day, right away they're gonna quit. That's too much work for them. But since they're so young, if we give this new way to them, it's like it's already made so easy. I think if there's a lot of kids on there, then the actual big time players will recognize that and they'll realize that. Then they'll hop on our platform because they're like, why? Let me get all these people following me. Why am I not on this platform right now? Coming from the dishwasher. Right, platform for vlogging. Right, that's easier to use than like editing software. You gotta ask them what their pains are with editing software to begin with. Like, okay. Generally, their editing process. Yes. And if a lot of people start coming back and say time, well, it might be even better too because you might be able to like list five things you guys are trying to fix 
<coughs> yeah. with your your vlogging platform. Oh, let's see which one. And then see which one actually they prioritize because if it's not if if time isn't one of them, but it's uh, I wish the features were more convenient to use or it was easier to edit on an app or something. I think, yeah. you know that might help you prioritize what to develop. But if it's actually a blogging group, I think that's a good. Like these are the people that make content. Yeah. Online. Well, what what is it what is it saying right there now? Just what is my idea of technology? So Vloggle is a social app that simplifies vlogging and allows creators to grow by producing more content more often. And we do this because we're time saving, we help users market their videos, we're easy to use. The question is how urgent is the need for our product to be in these people's hands? And it matters more if we treat it as high too. If it's medium or low and it's really high, or we're saying it's high when it's really low, we're not allocating our attention correctly. Yeah. And right now, I'm then asking, how many hours do you spend editing videos? Oh. Remember when we were doing Color Tap in my room? Color Tap? That was the craziest app I ever invented. Remember when we were doing it in my room, and then I had like 700 errors? Yeah. That was because it was. <laughs> that was so rattling. Yeah. We should go to Facebook, become developers, and just delete all the parentheses. Oh and my gosh! Like or they'll probably just find it right away because they're actually professionals. Yeah, most likely. And we can never get jobs in Yeah. Chris, why don't you learn how to code like me and Mike, bro? <laughs> because I do everything else better than you guys. They're not wrong there, G. Look at this beautiful day. Here in East Lansing. Dave doesn't know how to code. <laughs> Whole lot of coding going on. Yeah. Yo, Chris, hold the door for me, my Yo, thanks for holding that door, bro. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Man? Mike, you better hold that door for me, go dog. Ahead, bro. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Hi, right, guys. How much did you pay for that booth? How many bottles did you get? Hi, uh, bro. This is the baddest booth. <laughs> All right. Day three. Conquer Accelerator.